This week, as we celebrate six decades of WIS TV being on air, we are focusing on sports today with our Rick Henry, who has been here 25 of our 60 years. And when we first went on TV, I think for you it's very significant in the sense that we put sports out there first with the USC UNC game in 1953. What role has WIS played in the sports world for the last 60 years? Well, I think it's quite appropriate that we signed on with a football game. Uh, because sports has played such a pivotal role in what we do here at WIS. Uh, I can start with USC basketball back in the 60s and 70s under Frank McGuire. Uh, all of the home, ga home games were televised right here by WIS. And also you had the coaches show, the Frank McGuire show, uh, because before the era of ESPN where you could see constant coverage to see uh, your first look at in-depth highlights and analysis, you turn to the coaches show. And we also did the football coaches show. Mm -hmm. um, I, I remember as a kid watching the South Carolina State coaches show with Ori Banks, and that would be followed up by the USC coaches show with Paul Dietzel. Mm -hmm. And also, too, Super Bowl? Uh, Super Bowl, the very first Super Bowl yeah. was televised right here on NBC and WIS. Super Bowl One was actually televised by both CBS and NBC. So they both can claim that the very first Super Bowl, uh, we had it. Yeah. The World Series, Hank Aaron's 715th mm -hmm. home run that broke Babe Ruth's record, it was televised right here. WIS. Huge role that WIS has played in the sports world for 60 years. And one thing that you've done that so many viewers loved, that was Double Dog Dare. As we look at some video of you as you returned to Darlington, the uh, track too tough to tame, you got to do, uh, well, drive the pace car. And that's just... Rick, most people don't ever get to do something like that. It's always been a dream of mine, and to actually get to do it at Darlington, where I've spent so much time, uh, not only during my career here at WIS, but during my 32 years in television. That really was a treat for me. And we've really had a lot of coverage of racing over the last numerous years here at WIS. As NASCAR has become more and more popular with our viewers, they've demanded it, and, and I know you've enjoyed being able to give them that. You want to say something? <laughs> well, I was just going to say, yes, we, because of Darlington, NASCAR's oldest super speedway, the first uh, race at Darlington was 1950, three years before we signed on the air. And uh, since 1953, uh, WIS has been a fixture at Darlington covering all the big races. I didn't, didn't want to cut you off, but I want our viewers to see this video. Being involved in the community has been a big thing. And as we look at the Nutcracker video and you performing with the Columbia City Ballet inside the Coger Center for the Arts, the lights, the costumes, the classical music, uh, this, uh, this performance that you do every year just in the Nutcracker Ballet captures audiences with this timeless, magical dream world. And that's, that's one thing all of us here at WIS for 60 years have really tried to do is be involved in the community. One of my mottos is don't just live in a community, but be a part of that community. And since so many people consider us part of their families, it's always good to get out and help those families in need and, um, you know, just do good things. Yeah, and you've been a huge part of that. Let me just end here as we wrap with a picture of you from yesteryear. Uh -oh. If we can show you from your <laughs> WPDE days. This is a shot of Rick Henry. Oh, oh that Rick. is a big Look throwback. <laughs> I well, yeah. <laughs> I said we have got to show that to our viewers. So we'd like to hear from you. What are your uh, some of your favorite Rick Henry memories as we uh, had him, have had him, and continue to have him for 25-plus years now at WIS-TV? Send your comments to my Facebook page or tweet your memories of Rick Henry and WIS. I'm at Dondi WIS-TV, and we're going to share some of your responses later in the show. But, you know, sports always comes after weather, so now... Why don't we flip it? Why don't you pitch to John for the weather? Okay, John Farley, what's going on in weather today? Well, Rick, for once, uh, you know, I'm the guy who's the accordion and not you. You know, yeah. it's, uh, it usually works the other way around where I eat up all the time and then Rick's like, hey, you ate up all my time. But 